On June 5th, Napster founders Sean Fanning and Sean Parker unleashed their new social video site, Airtime. There were a ton of celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Jimmy Fallon, Joe McHale, but there were also a ton of glitches. The site itself didn't work and even the mics didn't work. However, it was super entertaining and it created a ton of hype and that's just what Parker wanted. We were there, here are the highlights. Airtime is going to change the whole way to connect with each other on the internet. All you need is a Facebook login and it lets you chat with the friends you already have but also lets you meet new people you've never met before and make new friends based on similar interests. Good air time. Yeah, give it some, get some air time. And uh, give me a little kiss. Uh, <laughs> 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 Whoa, hold on. Let me take that off. Yeah, that helps. I guess I don't need that now that I'm inside. I just went, oh, bad. Uh, oh, you like Marvin Gaye? Of course I like Marvin Gaye. <laughs> We also believe that people have endless potential for creative expression. So the questions are that we began to ask were, how do we build deeper connections with the people who matter to us most? And then now that we've got the ability to publish content, to the world without, without these traditional gatekeepers, how do we enable more people to realize that creative potential? How do we actually create an environment where that happens? I like that it was online. I like that, it, you know, so many people, if, if you, don't, you don't have a Mac, that means you don't have FaceTime. And yeah. it, my mom just learned how to download Skype the other day. She didn't even know it was if it was, an, if it was something that was online and a website, she'd understand it more. So the fact that it was just an online mm -hmm. video chat tool that anybody could just go on, you log on with your Facebook name and you're good. Like that was really kind of, that was the number one thing for me. Like, oh, you don't, it's live chatting. Yeah. <laughs> the progress that we've seen has really been slow, steady, and incredibly encouraging. So the team was very small when we first got involved. We watched them add a number of technical hires. Then they started wrapping pro a product layer around the company. Mm -hmm. Recently, they brought in a team that we admire very much called Early uh, through an acquisition mm -hmm. that was announced as part of the Series B final team. And I think those folks bring a degree of sort of velocity and acceleration that was missing in the company up until that point. You know, I'm at a time in life where a, a chance to meet new people really efficiently just seemed cool. I love the, uh, the user interface design by Matt Cahill. But the, this idea of basically sitting at my computer and entertaining and being entertained uh, just seemed kind of cool. My hope is it's the standard for video-based communications across the Facebook graph, no question about it. And ideally, the company can reach beyond the Facebook graph and touch anything that's social.